Hello, this is Muhammad Anaysan and you are in Lace Teachers. In the recent topic, we have discussed about semanticness. So now in this topic, I will start this describe and match methods. So what is this describe and match method? What is this type of method? This is related to a semantic nets only. If you know that semantic net, what are the semantic nets, then you will be easily covering with this topic. So what is this? The describe and match method. Basically, you can see this phrase. By seeing the phrase only, you can just determine what it talks about. It talks about the description and the matching. What it will do? It will describe an object. What it will do? Describe the object. And after that, it will match it what with what it will match whatever it has got an interest for example if this is a pen um if I, i'm a computer i'm seeing this pen newly and i'm having a description library here so what i will do i'll just see the pen i'll just see its description about the size about its weights about its color about its shape and after that what i will do i will just see my library here is the library you can think now i will just recollect is it matching with the description what i'm having in the library or not if it is then I will sending that okay I have found such such an object in my description library and so and so description is there else I'll just uh, tell that this is uh, it, it will be failure so here I have just given you a small example here you can see here are you seeing clearly okay I'll just move here so you can see this example here there is an object a b c any object and now that object should have a description right this is weight size shape color and all that so this is a description and this is an object and here we are having a library what library library which is consisting of the object the description of objects okay and now what we are having this is a library and here you may think this is a computer which is scanning this description and after it is checking in this library description if it is matching then it is sending that okay we have found else it is rejecting all so i think what is describing this this is a description right so what is the matching of it this is so it will send that this it will send this page to the user that we have found such an element okay so this is the describe and match method what we are doing we are first describing what we are describing describing the object and after that we are searching that the object description in our library description are you getting what you are doing you see okay, this is an object and this is the description of the object this is the description of this object we are seeing this description and checking with the library description and concluding with what we have got have you got it so i'll just give you another example what this will do so now i have just uh, given you a small example on how it works how this describe and match method works See, I have just drawn a graph here. Let this, we will take this as x, sorry, y axis. And this is x axis. Okay, this is y axis. Let me take this, there are the two axes. And this x axis contains area. And y axis contains number of holes. Just, just take this as optimistically. You can just see here, the area, whenever it is increasing, you can see the size should also increase. And whenever this the height is increasing, then what is happening? The holes are also increasing. So now what it is doing here, you can see the area is 6, the hole is 1, you can see the object. The area is 6, holes are 2, you can see the object. Whole area is 10 and holes are 3, you can see the object. Area is 10, holes are 4, we can see this object. Now suppose we got this unknown object. Unknown object. Now you, you just tell me what is the area of it. Obviously the area which will come here. Let me take it as sir. Right or wrong? Yes. So like this we can conclude the description. See the holes are there and the area we can cut more right. We can cut it or not. Yes, we can conclude that it is having seven area and you can just we will not by this unknown object. This is an unknown object. We don't know this object. Suddenly it came into the graph or else it came into an area. What you will do? You will just see how many holes are there and the area you can just you can conclude. Okay, this is the object. So this is also some uh, I'm I'm showing some light on describe and match method. And uh, next example, I'll just tell you in a semantic way how we can describe and match and we can uh, change the objects in a semantic way. Okay. So now uh, we are moving in the next topic related to the math and describe method. 
that is analogy problem. So this method, the describe and match method, we are using in this analogy problem. What is the meaning of analogy? By doing, we'll just get to know. So see this example. This is L, this is M, and this is N. These three are objects. What are these? Objects. And now you can see these arrows, and you can see this links arrows. What it is telling? This arrow is telling that L is above N, and L is above M, and N is inside M. Are you getting? Yes. What it is telling? L is above n. First we will just declare this object. What it is telling? L is above m, n, and m is and n is inside of m. So I'll just take this. This will take a area. What is telling? Here is an L. So I'll just draw L here. What is telling? L is above m. So m should be here. And n is inside m. So, can I write like this? Can I write like this? See, L is above N and above M and N is inside M. Can I write like this or not? Yes, I can write like this. See, L is above M, it is above M and L is above N, it is above N, N is inside M, it is inside M, concluded. Now, I want to change, I want to change something. What I will write, just delete this L, right? So I will just delete it. What L? Think right. Delete it. Now, I will just see, it is unchanged. Unchanged. M is unchanged. M. Uh, what we'll do? It is also we'll just to expand. You can apply your things. Expand. Then yeah? okay, now this is N. No. N is. Uh, left of M. N is left of M. This is deleted, just don't think that. Now what is M is unchanged. So I'll just draw here. So M is unchanged means M is like this only. And now was, what is about N? N is left of M. Left of M means if I'm here, so I'm, 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 I'm here. So what is the left of M? It should be here, right? So it should be. And I have told you that n should be expanded, means it should be bigger. So what I will do? I'll make it bigger. Have you got it? I think you got it. I think you got it. What we have done here? This image you can see and you can see this image more. You can if you are if now this L is deleted, we are not having L. M is unchanged. M is unchanged, right? Yeah, it's shape and size. Okay. Okay, now N is expanded. Is it expanded? Yes. And N is left of M. It is left of M. So this is an analogy problem. In the next videos, I will try to get you more examples about this. This is very interesting topic. So hope you enjoy this video and learn something about the other. Subscribe my channel and also don't forget to like this video if you if you are thinking that this is okay. So well, thank you very much.